Here we are, working on the garden bed alongside the woodshed. Bit of a design feature we thought we'd add. Got some boards from the sawmill to make a border for a small raised bed. Going to grow some vines and stuff up the side of the shed. Make it look nice and hold out a bit of weather. How's it going? Going alright, John. Go better if you give me in. <laughs> That's right. I'm just here to film and observe. Yeah. Haven't been digging out stuff. I'm getting there. Grow babies in that time. Yeah, it's pretty good looking soil. Organic. Yeah, it smells organic. Soil mix that we bought from the landscape and supply. I've used a few trailers of it around the place now. It's only like 60 bucks a trailer. You get heaps. It's always worth it. Cut the soil into a small raised bed. Looks really nice. Now we're just working on building a, a trellis. I'm gonna have three lengths of wire going across this wall of the shed. So we can have some plants grow up and look really nice. And maybe get some fruit. How are we going with the fencing task? Yeah, right. Haven't had a lot of experience with fencing. But I know enough to bend that bit of wire over there. Yep. Both ends, the bit I'm working on. Get rid of the sharp edge. Yeah. You have no idea how many old timers <laughs> have seen one of their eyeballs hanging off the end of a piece of fencing on. <laughs> Yeah, I can believe that. It's pretty, um, pretty deadly stuff. Right, yeah, we've got our turn buckle. Going to use that to tighten up the wire and keep it taut. A440 concert pitch tart. <laughs> it's a nice bass note. Fruit off that? I think so. Cool. Add a couple more. Those clouds are looking pretty ominous. Might get a bit of a storm soon. Can you hear that, viewers? Known as the lack of cicadas. No longer being serenaded with their chorus at 110 decibels every day. Very pleasant again up here. It's been a lot easier to film.
rain's back, which is nice. We've got our trellis up in the post with the turnbuckles on the wire. And I'll put in a couple of um, passion fruit vines. And they're enjoying the rain. The little garden bed's looking good. And we're just cleaning some of the mould and dirt that's collected on the post. Coming up good, just preparing it. We're going to oil it with some linseed oil. Should come up nice. We'll give it all a couple of days to dry out, then get some linseed oil on it. Yeah, that'll bring out the timber nice. Have shut up. Yeah, they're a lot quieter now. I sort of miss them. <laughs> Cicada Stockholm Syndrome. I can hear myself think again. Yeah, that's never a good thing. <laughs> the Rat Rod boys paint their cars where they've got old faded paint with a bit of rust coming through and they want to preserve the patina. Apparently they paint them with linseed oil. Oh, yep. To seal it all. Yeah, just seal it all up and stop the rust. We should do that to the dozer. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anyone doing bulk deliveries with linseed oil? Yeah, we need a couple of 44 gallon drums, I think. Soaking it up.
If it's anything like a cricket bat, you've got to do it every 10 days for about a year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it requires multiple applications. It smells nice. It does have a good smell though. It has a natural smell rather than a sort of varnishy ketone smell. Smells nice. Well, it's making me think about morning tea. Is 9.30 too early to have 11 Depends on what part of the country you're in, I guess. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock somewhere. Smoko time somewhere. Looks very medieval with the oil over that. Catches the light. Rightio guys, we'll leave the video and the video series for there now. Um, we're pretty happy with how the woodshed turned out. It's, um, it's been a pretty interesting project. We've still got a couple of things to work on. Um, finish plumbing in the stormwater drains because they're going to go into a new sort of rainwater collection system that we're building soon. And we'll be able to use that on the gardens and stuff. We'll also be adding in a lock-up sort of storage in here for garden tools and wood cutting stuff. And um, yeah, and then we're looking forward to filling the, the thing with firewood for winter, which will be here in a couple of months. Um, yeah, it's been a, pretty, been a pretty fun project all around. It always um, ends up looking a bit better than what we expected. I like the finish on it. It's got kind of like a um, medieval sort of rustic, but sort of nice aesthetic happening. Coming up, we're pretty excited about the next project, which is going to be the sort of forest roundhouse or cabin that, we're, that I'm going to work on and I'm um, eventually going to be moving into. We've, all, we've already been working on some plans and um, getting the timber ready for that project. It's going to be a big one, it's going to be a pretty big series but I think people have been looking forward to it. So yeah, I'll see you when we get started on that which will be very soon. Cheers guys, see ya. <laughs>